Michael Benefield, a sophomore from Wilmington, Delaware. Here's Kennard Martin at the five. Got one man to beat. He does. He's in for a touchdown. A great run by Kennard Martin, who took Irwin Sampson on head on, beat him, and then took it in for a Carolina touchdown. And the Tar Heels are back in this football game. What a great drive. That, that's just exactly what UNC needed right here to get him back in this football game. Kennard Martin, excellent job of rushing the football. What a difference that offense had on their minds when they were out on the field in that last drive than the first two times they had the football. Clint Gwaltney on to attempt the extra point. He knocks it through. And there's a one touchdown difference in this football game now. Duke threatened to blow it open. Here we are from Carolina the ground level. Back. There you get Kennard Martin. He bounces it outside right there. Irwin Sampson had a shot at him, but you got to hit him a little bit lower than that there, Irwin. You're not going to knock that man down, hitting him up around his shoulders. Before this game, we talked with Mac Brown about the importance of getting a win today, heading into the recruiting season and heading into next year. Mike, I, I think that uh, oh, anytime you play just 11 games a year, it's important to win, and it would help our football team to win today. But even more importantly than winning, we need to play well. We need to continue to improve. Uh, it would be great for our seniors because they'll remember this game the rest of their lives. And, and last week at uh, Virginia, it was a 27-24 game where they won late. We had a chance and, and didn't convert in the last drive of the ball game. But uh, our guys have continually improved. They're playing very hard. The large majority, only uh, uh, one starter on our defense will be leaving. So most of those defensive guys will be back uh, offensively. We've got to rebuild the whole thing. But uh, I think that the, the biggest thing is they've gotten some respect back, and, and we need to maintain that respect today, and a, and a win would help that through the offseason. Steve, Carolina's been in this spot before last week against Virginia. They got down a big 10-yard gain, first down from the 16-yard line. Here comes Kennard Martin, breaks it to the outside. 10-5 is going to score. Touchdown, Carolina. Kennard Martin, his second touchdown of the day, 16-yard run. And with an extra point, Carolina can tie up this football game. Right back in this game. Excellent job of moving the football on the ground, getting a great surge up front. Randy Marriott made a great block downfield. The corner was no factor. He was on his back. Well, the Duke defense showing a little vulnerability to the running attack. You've got to give a lot of credit to the Carolina offensive line, and in particular, Kennard Martin, 16 yards and a touchdown. Clint Bultney to tie the football game. He does. This score and this game is all even at 14. There's a low look at it again. There's Kennard Martin, takes the handoff, jumps outside, great quickness, turns it on, it's all over. See the defensive back on his back down there, Randy Marriott. See if you get a look here at Randy Marriott here. Great block right there. He just surged into him and knocked the DB on his back. Kennard Martin, 95 yards rushing so far in this football game. We've got 12.28 left to play in the first half. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. All to go for the Carolina Tar Heels, 270 yards rushing today. What a game. That's a game for you. Up the middle, touchdown Carolina, James Thompson. And the Tar Heels have taken the lead for the first time today. the senior from Lumberton playing his final game as a Carolina Tar Heel and he wants to go out with a sense of pride. James Thompson just hits this hole right up the middle and just says I am going to score six points. Anybody in my way is in trouble. Bangs in there. Carolina leads it 29 to 28. Let's see if they go for two. For two. That would if they make it that would force Duke to get a field goal to tie. This is a good play here, going for two. Kennard Martin, Martin cuts it to the outside. Did he get there? I don't think so. Nope. Didn't make it. So the two-point conversion fails, but Carolina still leads this football game. Let's look at this touchdown one more time. Watch, Great effort by watch, Thompson. Watch James Thompson here. He said, I'm going to remember this. This might be my last touchdown as a Tar Heel. You just get out of my way. <laughs> oh, boy. The two fullbacks for Carolina, Benefield and Thompson, have gained 103 yards today. Here's Kadar Martin's. Uh, he bounces outside. He can't quite get all the way outside like he'd like to. They did a good job of cutting the corner off with him. Ten minutes to play in this football game. Carolina has taken the lead. Another classic in this.